The most recent thing that I've been working on is I've been top dressing everything on the lawn with this compost. And I bought this compost for, I wanna say $300 from the city of Charlotte. <clears throat> and they do that, uh, they screen it, they make sure that it's gotten up to a temperature where all of the seed matter that's in it is dead. And, and what I did then was I took it and spread it across all of this. And you can see, get you right down in here, you can see just how that's kind of change the composition of things at the soil level. What we have here is really, really heavy uh, clay. And there's a lot of uh, organic matter in here. Things that are continuing to break down. And ultimately what it's doing is it's taking that, that clay substance that I'm growing grass in and it's just basically expanding or spreading out the particles I mean, the definition of clay uh, is that it's a really, really fine particle. And so there's not a whole lot of room for water and air to move through the soil. So you've got a larger particulate like a sand or even a gravel base. Uh, water and air move really well through that. Now, the, the downside is that <clears throat> there isn't necessarily the balance that we're looking for that you get in a soil that you would find more so in the Midwest, like a loam that has a lot of organic material, a lot of, uh, well, let's just take a look at this. So mainly when we're talking about organic material, we're talking about anything that was previously alive, right? And that's sticks, uh, in this case, that haven't broken all the way down. A lot of the other uh, pieces of organic material are basically the grass clippings that you've got as you go and you uh, mow through your lawn. If you don't take those out, those return nitrogen then down to the soil. Okay. My, my biggest question is this. I'm, I'm curious how much this is actually going to come through the rest of this because we've got a tall fescue lawn here. I'm curious how much the grass is actually going to work up through this top dressing of compost. In some areas it's worked up really well. Some areas it doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot. The other part of the problem is, is uh, it just hasn't been that warm recently. And since the ground temperatures haven't been that warm, that means there's not a whole lot of action that's been going on uh, kind of in that root zone area where the, the grass is really starting to grow. So we're still waiting on that. And the jury is still out to see whether or not this is gonna be something that was real, real wise to do, probably as aggressively as I did it. But the one thing that I will say is that as I kinda move this top layer off and work down in here, what I am finding are these little shoots of grass that are actually working up through that. So I think it's a really, uh, good addition from a nutritional standpoint to the lawn. I think it'll be great to see how this, I left one section of the lawn without any compost on it. And you can see I've still got, <laughs> I've still got a big stash of it over here. So we're kind of waiting to see how things go. I'm going to put most of that, I think, into my garden <clears throat> and build a few more raised beds with that. I'm gonna address a couple different areas um, with it as well, where I've got some flowers out on one side here, but um, that's pretty much it. The other thing that I did the other day is I went through and I just put down um, a dressing of 2,4-D just to knock back some of this. So I got a little bit of broadleaf coming in guy right here and you can see just after I think it's only been three four days it's starting to yellow quite a bit and really starting to die back so I'm interested to see how well uh, that does or the other thing I did want to take a look at I thought what I sprayed had quinclorac in it as well but let's take a look here Yeah, it's got two active ingredients in it. And I use this, it's called Spectricide Weed Stop for lawns. And what you wanna look at when you're 
checking out what you should buy is down here the active ingredients.